Tech. Well, we had a cold front. It was a rapid mover this morning. It blew through the region, brought a brief period of moderate rain to many locations across the central coast and is already flying into the Rockies. So this is a fast mover. It's running basically at Santa speeds right now. Plenty of snow in the Sierra Nevada as well, but around the backside of that now, northerly winds bringing cold air back down into the region. This is about how much rain we ended up with. Didn't get to an inch anywhere, but got close on the Santa Cruz Mountains, eight tenths of an inch or so up on Ben Lomond Ma Mountain. Watsonville did pretty well. Th uh, two thirds of an inch of rain, a third of an inch in Santa Cruz, a quarter in Monterey. Salinas at the airport, 0.17 inches, and Hollister just a little over a tenth. But as I mentioned, not going to really knock down that drought situation for us. We need one of those systems every couple of days to get caught up. Right now, wind speeds, well, they're dying down. It was breezy earlier today, and that wind certainly had a, well, it had a nip to it, that's for sure. Still 13 miles per hour in Soledad, however, and most locations much cooler than this time last night. Um, we're in some cases 5 to 10 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. Here's where we're sitting temperature wise. We do have a few patchy clouds out there that are acting as a, bl a patchy blanket network, which is keeping a few areas a little bit more mild, but we're already down to 44 in Boulder Creek. We're down to 46 in Carmel Valley and 38 in the Hernandez Valley. So getting chilly out there. Most cities around the bay in the low 50s at the moment. So those patchy clouds will slowly dry out, mix out through the overnight hours. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, I expect we'll be under mostly sunny skies. There is a chance of a little bit of fog in the very valley bottoms, though. We did add some moisture to the low levels with the rain moving through and with the cold air. Well, draining into the valleys, creating a lake of cold air. Sometimes you can get some fog to develop in those locations. So watch out for areas of reduced visibility overnight. The air moving into the region is dry, so that will act against it, but it's still possible in a patchy sense. The rest of the day tomorrow, mostly sunny. Could see a few low clouds right along the coast. They'll be pretty thin and near the Monterey Peninsula, but that's about it. Should be a nice, mostly sunny day, just a touch warmer than what we saw today temperature wise. But your lows in the morning will be chilly. It will be in the low to mid 30s and the San Lorenzo Valley into Scotts Valley highs in the upper 50s to low 60s tomorrow. Down to 40 overnight in Santa Cruz, back to 60 for your high. Pretty close to that in Capitola as well. Watsonville, we're going to get you up to the low 60s tomorrow. Same in Salinas and Hollister, but lows in the 30s. A little chilly in some spots. Marina 35, same in San Juan Batista. Not a lot of difference. We've got a cold air mass sitting overhead. And this time of year, we can get those cold temperatures near the coast as well. 37 overnight in Seaside, you're back to the upper 50s. Upper 50s also in Monterey for your high. Lows in the upper 30s to around 40 for the rest of the peninsula. Down south, going to be chilly as you head south on 101. 33 in Soledad to wake up tomorrow morning. 31 in Greenfield and King City. 30 in Bradley. 28 in the San Antonio Valley. And this won't be the coldest morning this week, by the way. So it's going to get even colder. As we head into Saturday morning, but highs returning to seasonal normals tomorrow afternoon. So over the next seven days, mostly sunny skies, temperatures slowly rising, maybe a degree per day through Saturday or Sunday, I should say. A little breezy on the coast Sunday as we have some offshore flow there, but it's not necessarily a warm air mass. It'll be working its way in on the backside of that. Well, the winter solstice early Monday morning. We're watching a weak weather system on Tuesday, which could bring some rain right now. It's looking unlikely. I actually took the icon off yesterday, but we're going to keep the watching on there. And then into the holiday, looking like uh, pretty seasonable conditions, about what we should be this time of year, minus the rain, which we're behind on. Inland areas, again, a little breezy tomorrow over the hills specifically, but high temperatures warming up and lows chilling out. It's going to be a cold morning Saturday, but our highs on Sunday and Monday should be nice and warm. We're watching Tuesday of next week for some rain potential, but don't get excited about it unless Santa decides to bring it early for you, but that seems unlikely at this point.